Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you if you join us in RTD uh, television. Welcome to the 9 p.m. English news edition. Here are the top stories. The President of the Republic participates in the funeral of the late uh, Musa Ahmed uh, Idris. Ministry of the Interior warning on public disorder. For the international news, pro government forces claim to control Tripoli and its suburbs. Hello, welcome to our newsroom for having the news in uh, details. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Mr. Ismail Margil, hailed the memory of the late Musa Ahmed Idris, one of the leading figures of the national political landscape, who passed away today, Friday. In his tribute, the President of the Republic uh, praised the significant role played by the diseased in the mobilization of our national independence. He went on, the, on, on to uh, pardon, describe the late Musa Ahmed Idris as an uh, enlightened leader in a valiant patriot who always knew how to put the general interest of our country above personal and partisan interest. May God welcome him in his internal paradise, implored President uh, Gilly, who expressed his sad condolences to his family, relatives, and friends, and to uh, the entire uh, nation of Djibouti, uh, mourning the death of one of, the he, of, one of his pardon, most illustrious uh, personalities. ما أبدي الهدارا خيرا من داره وأهلا خيرا من أهله وزوجا خيرا من زوجه اللهم أدخله الجنة اللهم أدخله الجنة وأعذه من عذاب القبر وعذاب النار اللهم اغفر لحينا وميتنا وشاهدنا وغائبنا وصغيرنا وكبيرنا وذكرنا وأنثانا اللهم من أحييته منا فأحيه على الإسلام it should be also noted that the Jewishian head of state took part in the funeral ceremony of the late Musa Ahmed Idris, buried in the uh, Sheikh Osman Cemetery, where the father of the nation, Al Haji Hassan Aguled Abtidon, is buried. The late Musa Ahmed Idris had a long uh, political career, spanning nearly uh, six decades, representative of our people in a uh, French National uh, Assembly before our access uh, to uh, independence. He was part of the first wave of deputies elected to the Jewishian parliament. After the acquisition of our sovereignty, he reached the uh, pinnacle pardon, of his political career with his uh, candidacy in 1999 for the supreme magistracy of our country. Patriot at the head of a large family with many children and grandchildren, the late Musa Ahmed Idris was born in 1933. May God welcome him in his eternal paradise. Inna lillah wa inna ilihi raja. دين الإسلام ونبي محمد عليه الصلاة والسلام يا غفور يا ودود اللهم ابدله دارا خير من داره وأهلا خير من أهله وأدخله الجنة وعده من عذاب القبر ومن عذاب النار اللهم احشرهم مع النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين برحمتك يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم ارحمنا إذا سرنا من أهل القبور اللهم اجعل آخر كلامنا من الدنيا لا إله إلا الله وأن محمد رسول الله توفنا وأنت راض عنا غير غضبان برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين واجعل هذه القبور رياضة لنا ولهم من رياضة الجنة ولا تجعلها لنا ولهم من حفر النيران برحمتك يا عزيز يا غفار بر اللهم ارفع عنا الوباء اللهم ارفع عنا البلاء اللهم ارفع عن هذه البلاد من الأمراض والأسقام والأوجاع والأورام اللهم احفظ هذا البلد من الكيد الكائدين ومن الحقد الحاسدين اللهم اجعل اللهم من أراد هذا البلد بفتن اللهم اجعل كيده في نحره واجعل تدبيره تدميره يا رب العالمين اللهم احفظ 
بلاد المسلمين وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم احفظ هذا البلد وسائر بلاد المسلمين اللهم احفظه من الكيد الكائدين يا ذا الجلال والإكرام يا حي يا قيوم اللهم احفظ شعب جيبوتي ورئيسها يا ذا الجلال والإكرام يا حي يا قيوم يا حي يا قيوم يا حي يا قيوم a public uh, disorder happened yesterday during the day in the evening. The Ministry of Interior made a statement on this uh, situation and I uh, quote, Mr. Mumin Ahmed uh, Sheikh said, I am speaking to the media today uh, to uh, first of all update the media on some of the public disorder that took place yesterday during uh, the day and in the evening, but also to warn those who engage in this kind of disorder. I would like first of all to remind you that any demonstration is subject to a well-defined regulation a prior authorization by the competent authorities, the point of departure of the demonstration, the route and the point of fall and all this in a safe environment of the, of the people in charge of holding this event. Contrary to this procedure, demonstrations have been provoked by some individuals which has led to the degradation of properties such as vehicles, damaged uh, vehicles, looting uh, shops and property belonging to Djiboutian uh, citizens. In my capacity as Minister of the Interior, I must remind you that this kind of behavior aimed at disturbing public order is strictly forbidden by law. Therefore, I warn individuals who attempt to be prosecuted in any way and that they will be brought to uh, a justice. Now, in a statement made this morning, the Attorney General of the Republic, Jam Suleiman, gave an update on the judicial case of a common law detainee uh, circulating on social network. In this case, the case of detainee Fouad Yusuf uh, Ali. And I quote, journalists, if I uh, decided to speak to you this morning, it is uh, because the treatment of a court case by certain media and social networks in recent days seems to be, uh, to be contrary in some respect uh, to the truth. It is, of course, the so-called case of former National uh, Army Lieutenant Fouad Yusuf uh, Ali. I would first like to view the facts and the procedure, and then let us talk about the condition of his detention. Without wishing to betray the secrecy of the investigation, since this case is still in the hand of the investigation judge hearing the case and respecting the presumption of innocence of the accused, I would like to remind you of this, uh, Mr. Uh, Fouad Yusuf Ali, born 29 October 1983 in Djibouti, Djiboutian citizen, military pilot, and lieutenant in the Djiboutian Air Force, decided on 15 March 2020 to uh, fraudulently uh, take away a Djiboutian Air Force plane uh, to go to Eritrea. The accident, uh, Lieutenant Fouad Ali, a Djiboutian Air Force pilot, was unable to get the plane off the ground and after several maneuvers, the plane crashed into another Air Force aircraft and grounded against a blocked and unusual, uh, unusual pardon, wall. Mr. Fouad fled and disappeared into uh, the wild, uh, reappearing on a social uh, network in Air Force, uh, Air Force officials tunic and making threats against his military rush. The Air Force Chief of Corps uh, then uh, filed a criminal complaint against Lieutenant Fouad, Ali, uh, Fouad Yusuf Ali, an Air, Force, an Air Force pilot, for attempt theft of uh, military aircraft and threat against his Hirashi. And Lieutenant Fouad uh, Yusuf Ali reappeared again on social networks, still in Ethiopian uh, Air Force, uh, uh, in Ethiopia, official uniform, declaring that they were on uh, their way to uh, Eritrea. In an introductory indictment on 9 uh, in April uh, 2020, the public, the, pu the public pardon, prosecutor decided to open a judicial inquiry against former Lieutenant Fouad Yusuf Ali for attempting to steal a military aircraft, destroying this aircraft and having relations with a hostile foreign power, in this case uh, Eritrea and also for having published a maintained comments and speech that were detrimental to a national defense. An international arrest warrant was issued in this, on the same day, 9 April 2020, by the investigating judge against Mr. Afouad uh, Yusuf in executive of uh, their international letter rogatory and uh, international arrest warrant the, uh, to the Ethiopian judicial authorities uh, arrested Mr. Afouad Ali and decided to extradite uh, him uh, to 
Djibouti on 20 April 2020. On 21st April 2020, the officials of the uh, the official of the Djibouti uh, Directorate for Counterterrorism Coordination and the Fight Against Organized Crime notified the international arrest warrant to uh, the uh, Mr. Fouad Ali, and he was brought before the examining magistrate on 22nd April 2020. Mr. Fouad Yusuf Ali was indicated by the examining uh, magistrate on 22nd uh, April 2020 for attempting to steal a military aircraft, destroying the aircraft, maintaining a relationship with a hostile foreign power, in this case Eritrea, and publishing words and comments in the press of a violent nature, inciting hatred and undermining national defense. During his initial interrogation before the investigating judge on 22nd April 2020, the accused Fouad Ali stated that he took note of the charge but that he did not want to make any statement. Mr. Uh, Fouad uh, Yusuf Ali was uh, remanded on in uh, custody in Djibouti prison on the same day, 22nd April uh, 2020. Fouad Yusuf Ali has been assisted since the first day of his arrest by Mr. Zakaria, a lawyer at the Djibouti Bar Association. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to recall at this point the extreme seriousness of the charge against Lieutenant Fouad Ali among the various offenses with which uh, the accused is charged. I had uh, I highlighted the offense or crime of treason which is defined in Article 132 of the Jewish Criminal Code as being committed by a Jewish or a soldier in the service of the Republic of Djibouti. Article 133 of the Jewish Criminal Code also defines a treason as a crime and states that it is a crime to hand over to a foreign power or its agent either troops belonging to the Jewish Armed Forces or all uh, parts of the national territory, the aircraft belonging to the National Army being understood as a portion of Jewish uh, territory. This is a crime of treason and is punishable by life imprisonment. Imprisonment, pardon. Article 137 of Criminal Code also defines treason as the insurance of documents or information that uh, jeopardizes national defense and security. Article 137 also defines treason as punishable by 15 years imprisonment. Uh, this is the uh, tell. This is to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the extreme seriousness uh, facts that are blamed on the ex-pilot, ex-lieutenant uh, Fouad Yusuf uh, Ali. Now, in a second part, the public prosecutor, uh, general prosecutor, pardon, returned to the request filled by the lawyer of Fouad Yusuf Ali on 25th May, asking the examining magistrate to release or hospitalize his client. I will, and he said, I quote, I would like to say a few words now about extreme uh, diligence. The Jewish uh, justice system has been extremely diligent in dealing with the case. Sometimes in uh, the particular context of the COVID-19 pandemic, when judicial activity was totally interrupted by a request filled by the lawyer of the accused, Mr. Yusuf Ali and Mr. Zakaria, on Monday, on May, pardon, uh, 25th, 2020, the defendant asked the judge and the investigating judge for his provisional release or hospitalization. By indictment of 27th May, the public prosecutor opposed this request for a provisional li liberty and by uh, an order of 28th May, the investigating judge reject the, rejected the defendant's request. The accused appealed uh, against this order, refusing his release before the examining magistrate. 21st May 2020, uh, through his lawyer, Mr. Zakaria, the indictment chamber of the Court of Appeal, which is the appellate uh, court of appeal in master of investigation the court of appeal of Djibouti met on Thursday June 4th that is to say uh, yesterday uh, morning but neither the accused nor his uh, counsel who spoke to the media again last night were able to attend the appeal court ruled yesterday uh, uh, the day before yesterday on the request for provisional release and on the request of hospitalization but order a medical examination of the detainee's uh, person, Fred Yusuf Ali, uh, to see whether his state of health required hospitalization. The Court of Appeal appointed Djiboutian doctors in this regard, Dr. Hamadou Ali and, uh, and Dr. Ilyas Asidiri as experts to determine whether Mr. Fouad's state of health ultimately uh, required hospitalization or not. 
in this uh, social network, and neither the accused nor, nor uh, his uh, counselor, uh, Mr. Zakaria, uh, nor anyone else speaks of exemplary treatment by the Jewish justice system in relation to the case to, uh, of the uh, former uh, Lieutenant uh, uh, Fouad. Still, the prosecutor, uh, general prosecutor, uh, pointed out that you, Fuad Yusuf uh, Ali was detained in a civil prison. Uh, that there is neither emergency jurisdiction nor military jurisdiction has already been established. And he said, I quote, I would first like to point out that Mr. Fuad Yusuf Ali is being held in a civilian prison. That may seem uh, tribal, uh, but I would like to point out that in the Republic of Djibouti there is neither emergency or nor military jurisdiction, nor uh, that in this case. The offense with uh, which uh, the accused is charged was committed with the particular circumstances that he was a serving officer of the National Army. Understanding that the video that was circulated on social networks may have provoked some reactions. Although I would like to point out that the video shot by Mr. Fouad Yusuf Ali does not film the entire cell, but just the latrines. I remind you that the so-called 12 cells within the Gabod prison are individual cells with a courtyard and the accused had the opportunity to spend most of his time and that he spent it in his individual courtyard away from the other cells where there are several inmates. The Minister of Justice has moreover suspended director, the director of the prison while also awaiting the criminal investigation which are conducted under the control of the public prosecutor. Finally, I remind you that in the early days of the emergency of the COVID-19 pandemic, the President of the Republic uh, pardoned 200 convicted prisoners out of, the, of a total of about 600 inmates in order to relieve congestion, congestion in Jerusalem prison. Uh, finally, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to con conclude by saying that not only does the public of Djibouti respect the dignity of a human person, but above all, we did not wait for the declaration of the, uh, 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 Mr. Zakaria or for this affair to appear on social network to think, reflect and design the construction of a new prison that will replace the Gabot prison which dates from the colonial era has such as since the last year a third has been assigned to the Minister of Justice. At PK 53, the President of the Republic ordered the construction of the new prison on these PK 53 sites with funding from the national budget despite their limited resources. As you know in our country, uh, thank you uh, for your uh, attention. Now, the Secretary General of the Minister of Health, Dr. Salah Barita Trab, made the press briefing of the, of the day on Friday, uh, 5th June 2020, uh, uh, 1,000 uh, and 59, 1,059 tests were performed, 69 cases positive to COVID-19, 22 uh, cases cured and zero or death. As far as the global assessment of the epidemic is concerned, it is declining as follows, 34,555 tests performed, 4, 1,123 cases positive to COVID-19, 1,707 uh, cases cured, 26 deaths in total. We remind, uh, we remind that the population to call on 1517 in case of symptoms, uh, stay vigilant, protect yourself, and protect the others. Now, the uh, director of CAMME, uh, Dr. Ahmed Demigri, received uh, the voucher of the Ministry of Health, a donation of 30,000 masks and 250 uh, medical protective suites uh, granted by the company uh, Salt Investments. As part of the effort to fight against the COVID-19, the company Salt Investments, represented by uh, Mr. Saeed Kamil, was keen to participate in this wave of solidarity initiated by the head of state. This material is graciously uh, offered by SALT investment will be used to reinforce the uh, protection of healthcare personnel who are in the front line in the fight against the coronavirus pandemic. The director of the CMME, Dr. Ahmed uh, uh, Hussein uh, Miguel, thanked the SALT Investment Society for this act of gen generosity and solidarity at the, at the uh, prosperous uh, moment in national response to this uh, disease. And now, as part of uh, its social program, the non-government organization NRC donated various materials to uh, the vulnerable families in the locality of Sheikh Farah Sop uh, Prefecture of the Demajog region. 
this important lot, lot is composed of man management kits, soaps, and jewelry cans for water storage. These donations are intended for the uh, 700 managers who uh, live in the locality of Sheikh uh, Farah. It is with great satisfaction that we receive this important donation from the NRC organization in partnership with the owners, uh, sub prefect of uh, Said, the sub prefecture of the Majog uh, region, Mr. Abdi Shakib uh, Noor. Now, the American Agency for International Development, USAID, is organizing a handover of loads of office equipment and supply to the uh, Mohbani Association partner of the pre K project. Uh, pre K uh, strengthened Jewishian Association working in the education uh, sector to encourage them to become more involved and in, to collaborate uh, more with uh, Menfolk to improve the education offer. The association uh, Mohbani inter intervening in the education sector in Tajura is the beneficiary of a lot of equipment and uh, office supplies in order to strengthen its intervention capacities on Wednesday, June 3, uh, 2020. USA Djibouti, uh, this event will be carried out by the Project for Capacity Building of Djibouti Association, funded by USAID and executed by FHI 360 within the framework of bilateral cooperation between the United States and Djibouti. Precade provides technical assistance to a Djibouti Association to achieve the following results. Djibouti's association in the education and health sector benefit from more effective management. Djibouti Association strengthen their capacity to promote gender. Now still uh, in the fight against the COVID-19 is not only sanitary, in this period digital technology is of great necessity both in terms of awareness and form formation pardon, and the organizational, uh, organizational uh, mode of different actors. The head of the uh, Department of CDC, uh, Mr. Ahmed Ali, held yesterday a meeting in teleworking mode with the different heads of network of young leaders. Several points were retained, in particular, the importance of prevention as the only way to avoid the virus, while emphasizing the behavior and gesture to be adopted within the society to protect itself and prevent a widespread of the coronavirus. Introducing the message of the Secretary of State, of, uh, State for Youth and Sport, His Excellency Hassan Mohamed Kamil, head, the head of CDC's department, announced that in the coming days the caravan will set off for the interior regions to better conduct the campaign and arm our fellow citizens in the district. These communication coordination tools allow the actors and authorities involved in this struggle to see from a distance what is happening on the ground. It is what now a great uh, sadness that we have. That, uh, we uh, we inform you the death uh, this morning at the Peltier Hospital, uh, Haisema Ali uh, Mohammed, following a long illness. Born in 1955, the deceased was retired from Djibouti Radio Television, where he worked as a sound technician. The late Haisema Ali uh, Mohammed began his career in 1980s and trained dozens of young people with whom he started his passion until his illness weakened him. Known for his strength and character, uh, Haisama Ali Mohammed made his mark on national television through his professionalism and dedication to his profession. He leaves behind him the three children and a widow. On learning of his uh, this sad loss, the general management and all the staff of RTD expressed the sincere condolences to his family and all his loved ones and prayed to, his, to Allah. Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi raj'un. Moving now, now into the international news, the forces of the internationally recognized Libyan government of national unity announced on Thursday uh, that they have regained full control of Tripoli after several military success against the Libyan National Army of uh, Marshal Khalifa Haftar. After a series of uh, success, the uh, forces of the Libyan National Unity Government, LNG, announced on Thursday, 4th June, that they now have control of the entire capital, Tripoli, and its suburbs. For more than a year, violent fighting has pitted the GNA against the troops of uh, Marshal uh, Khalifa Haftar. Our heroic forces have total control of the administrative border of a great Tripoli pro GNA forces spokesman Mohamed Agmunu uh, said in a, a succinct uh, statement on Facebook. 
the announcement uh, comes after several success by the troops of the GNA an entity uh, based in the capital and recognized by the UN including the resumption of the international airport on Wednesday in the hands of the pro Haftar since April uh, 20, uh, 2019 Marshal Haftar launched an offensive in April 2019 aimed at quick uh, quickly seizing uh, Tripoli but the fighting soon became bogged down south of the capital, and the Haftar camp has suffered several setbacks in recent weeks. Uh, Beni Walid, a uh, town 170 kilometers southeast of Tripoli, saw the arrival about two weeks ago of many pro Haftar fighters who had fled the capital's front. Coastal towns taken over by the pro GNA and the Al Watiya Air Base, 140 kilometers southwest of Tripoli. This is it for this edition of 9pm. Thank you for watching us and have a wonderful night.